When the Burj Khalifa was built, it stood as a symbol of human ambition and an architectural marvel that left the world in shock. Everyone thought that no other skyscraper could surpass it, or even if it were to happen, it was going to take hundreds of years. But they were wrong. We were all wrong. As the sun set over the Arabian horizon, a new vision arose, casting a towering shadow over all that came before. This is Kingdom Tower, Jeddah's majestic leap beyond one kilometer, where the future reached a new height and the world's skyline took a breathtaking and defying bow. The Kingdom Tower was set to be a symbol of architectural innovation and engineering excellence, poised to become the world's tallest building, surpassing 1,000 meters in height. It also aimed to redefine the skyline, offer breathtaking views, luxurious living spaces, and never been seen state-of-the-art facilities. Unfortunately, something happened, and you're about to find out. But before we dive deeper into these details, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you won't miss out on any updates and exciting content in the future. Now let's find out what went wrong and what the future holds for the Kingdom Tower. The city of Jeddah has for so many years been grappling with various urban challenges. With its population of over 3 million people, it's hard not to see the reason for these challenges. Overcrowding, limited employment opportunities, and shortages of modern infrastructure have long remained the order of the day. The city lacks central hubs for trade, business and culture. It also lacks a focal point for commercial activities and was overshadowed by larger cities in the region before the introduction of the Jeddah Economic City Project, which has barely done enough to tackle this issue. To serve some of these needs and tackle the issues facing the people of Jeddah, the Kingdom Tower was conceived. But what made Jeddah the chosen site for such an ambitious project? The Jeddah Tower, standing at an awe-inspiring height of over 1,008.2 meters or 3,308 feet, redefines modern architecture and human ambition. Reaching almost one kilometer into the sky, it surpasses the iconic Burj Khalifa in Dubai by 180 meters. Located within a sprawling 50 hectare site, the tower is at the heart of the visionary Jeddah Economic City, a three-phase project on 5.2 square kilometers of pristine waterfront land, just 20 kilometers north of Jeddah's bustling port. This monumental development aims to transform into a vibrant new district within Jeddah, signifying progress and innovation. While the second phase focuses on essential infrastructure for this burgeoning city, the details of the third phase remain shrouded in anticipation. The beating heart of Jeddah Tower is set to be a luxurious haven, housing a Four Seasons hotel, exquisite short-term rental apartments, top-notch Class A office spaces, and opulent condominiums. The tower will proudly host the world's highest observation deck, granting visitors a breathtaking panorama of the city and its surroundings. The designers of this tower, Adrian Smith and Gordon Jill Architecture, envision it as a tower that will represent the new spirit in Saudi Arabia. And while the vision was grand, what were the unique features that set the Jeddah Tower apart from every other building? If there's one thing that sets Kingdom Tower apart from other conventional skyscrapers, it's its features and architectural design. Mere looking at it, you can easily confirm that ensuring the sustainability of an exceptionally tall building like Jeddah Tower comes with a unique set of challenges. These include issues like limitations in vertical transportation due to elevator reach, swaying caused by wind, and settling of super columns caused by concrete shrinking and settling under load. Moreover, very tall buildings require a substantial core size to support the structure and accommodate the numerous elevators needed which consumes a significant amount of space on the lower and middle floors. The designers of this tower are not sleeping on this, and so, to address these challenges, Jeddah Tower employs a smooth, sloped exterior design, which despite being more costly to construct, offers superior aerodynamic performance compared to step designs like the Burj Khalifa. This design choice was employed after the wind tunnel tests conducted at Burj Khalifa, Jeddah Tower also utilizes strong stiffening materials to minimize excessive swaying on windy days, such as very high strength concrete in certain core sections. This, combined with a highly integrated steel frame and sheer walls, enhances structural integrity and resilience against potential threats, including terrorist attacks. Traditionally, the space taken up by elevators was a limiting factor, making buildings less profitable beyond approximately 80 floors. Like the Burj Khalifa, Jeddah Tower employs a Y-shaped, triangular footprint, promoting stability and enhancing window views. 
Its tapering form, combined with its significant height and wind challenges, necessitates a unique design. The smooth, sloped facade of Jeddah Tower induces a beneficial phenomenon known as wind vortex shedding, which minimizes the side-to-side -side rocking caused by wind pressure differentials. This smooth taper is more aerodynamic and stable compared to irregular or jagged designs, and it is particularly advantageous over traditional rectangular geometries. Jeddah Tower's triangular footprint and sloped exterior design effectively reduce wind loads and maximize its suitability for residential use due to its ample surface area. Inside the Jeddah Tower, you'll find a remarkable network of elevators, including five double-deck elevators and 12 escalators made by the Finnish company, Cone. What's even more impressive is the highest observation deck in the world, which you can reach using high-speed elevators traveling at incredible speeds. These elevators are designed for efficiency, taking into account air pressure changes that could affect passengers. This tower will feature three sky lobbies, enabling smooth transfers between elevators without overburdening any one elevator. And while we don't have an official floor count, it's expected to surpass the Burj Khalifa by around 50 floors, potentially exceeding 200 floors. Additionally, there's a massive outdoor balcony known as the Sky Terrace, providing a unique experience. Originally intended as a helipad, it's now an outdoor space for penthouse residents. Thanks to the tower's height, you'll experience cooler temperatures towards the top, aided by the natural cooling effect and increased airflow at these heights. Do you think you've heard it all? Then wait till you hear the next one. The area that covers the Jeddah Tower, which is about 23 hectares, is more than just a skyscraper. It's going to be known as the Jeddah Tower Waterfront District. In this district, you'll not only find the towering structure, but also public spaces, a shopping mall, and a mix of residential and commercial developments. To put it into perspective, the tower's site alone covers a whopping 500,000 square meters. That's approximately 5,381,955 square feet. Just like other mega-tall skyscrapers, such as the Kingdom Center in Riyadh, Jeddah Tower serves a dual purpose. It's not only about profitability, but also symbolism and enhancing the surrounding area's value. The architect, Adrian Smith, beautifully describes the tower's design as resembling a bundle of leaves shooting up from the ground, symbolizing growth and rejuvenation. The tower's impact goes beyond its physical presence. It's a landmark that's closely tied to the development of Jeddah Economic City. The idea of creating high-density developments and shopping centers around a landmark like this draws inspiration from the success of the Burj Khalifa. In downtown Dubai, the surrounding malls, hotels and condominiums have been incredibly lucrative, even though the Burj Khalifa itself may not have been as profitable. Beyond its primary functions, the Jeddah Tower aims to be more than just a skyscraper. It's designed to include retail spaces and various amenities, making it almost self-sustaining. The tower's design is hailed as simple, feasible, bold and high-tech with an estimated construction cost of approximately 1.23 billion US dollars, made more affordable due to the labor costs in the Middle East, particularly Saudi Arabia, and the round-the-clock construction efforts to expedite the process. With such groundbreaking design and technology, what could possibly go wrong? The construction of the tower was initially slated for a five-year timeline, but right from the start, the project encountered a few formidable challenges. The main challenge among these was the difficult quest for funding. Initially, the Jeddah Tower received financial backing from the Saudi Bin Laden Group, one of Saudi Arabia's largest construction companies, even though it's noteworthy that a member of the Bin Laden family was linked to Al-Qaeda. However, in 2015, a tragic crane accident at the Grand Mosque in Mecca resulted in over 100 casualties, leading to severe financial woes for the Bin Laden Group. This, in turn, resulted in their prohibition from bidding on new projects, including the Jeddah Tower. Consequently, the Jeddah Tower found itself without its primary source of funding, and construction ground to a halt for several years. In 2018, a new investment consortium, spearheaded by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia, assumed control of the project. By this point, the tower's construction had already endured substantial delays, accompanied by significant cost escalations. Moreover, the tower encountered an array of technical obstacles, such as erecting an immensely tall structure on unstable soil within a seismic zone. The tower's design necessitated the use of cutting-edge technology and materials, which further complicated the undertaking and inflated its cost. 
Despite several attempts to reignite construction, as of 2021, the Jeddah Tower remained an incomplete vision. The project had been downsized to a height of 1,008 meters, and the completion date had been postponed multiple times. In February 2021, the project was placed on the market, indicating the investment group's apparent abandonment. The world thought it was the end of the Jeddah Tower, but apparently we were wrong once again. There's a silver lining on the horizon. Following a period of relative dormancy, the project is now back on course. Jeddah Tower's construction has been reinitiated by the Jeddah Economic Company. To forge ahead, the developer has set in motion the process of soliciting bids from contractors to bring this groundbreaking structure to fruition. It's noteworthy that the foundational and piling work for this pioneering tower has already been accomplished. The resurrection of the Jeddah Tower project stands as a momentous milestone in the realms of construction and architecture. If we come a bit closer to home, we can say that the coming of the Jeddah Tower will meet the city's ever-increasing need for modern and comfortable living spaces, creating a balance between high-end luxury and affordability. It will create job opportunities for young Saudis, especially as the youth population seeking employment continues to rise. In the end, the Kingdom Tower will not only reshape the cityscape, but also address a multitude of challenges facing the population of Jeddah. What are your thoughts concerning this tower? Do you think it stands a chance to pull off everything it plans to do and become the tallest standing skyscraper in the world? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and also give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.